Hey, what's going on guys? Justin Miller here with another tutorial coming at you because today it's not Friday, but I'm gonna still do a tutorial. Because I haven't been doing tutorials because you know it's Christmas time and I have just been not really focusing on YouTube that much. Today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial. Now normally guys I would just give you the preset to download and you guys can use this whenever and it'll save like a lot of time. But today I actually can't do that. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna provide the composite shot for this. So I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can download this composite shot and you guys can replace my footage with your footage. Getting back to what I was originally saying, today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a twirl transition. I'll put a little bit of an example on screen right here. So basically to do this transition, all you have to do is you have to make new composite shot. Um, I made mine in slow motion. You guys don't have to do that. You guys can just do this with regular footage. And you're going to want to go to your effects tab. And if there's also going to be a link in the description to a tile preset that I made. And you're going to drag that onto your footage. So then what you're going to want to do once you have the tile effect dragged on is you're going to want to open up your transform tab inside of the clip. And then you're just going to want to adjust the rotation. So go to the end of the clip and set a keyframe. And then go back 10 keyframes and set another keyframe. So once you have those two keyframes set, go to the end keyframe and set the rotation to 180. And then you're gonna wanna select both keyframes and then you're gonna wanna switch it to the circle keyframe instead of the diamond shaped one. Then you're gonna wanna go into your value graph and make a curve. Um, you guys can see this on screen so it'll make a lot more sense. So then you're gonna do the same thing but in the opposite order on the second clip. So you're gonna set a keyframe at the beginning, then go 10 frames in and set another one and then set this rotation for the beginning keyframe of your second clip to negative 180. And then you're just gonna to wanna to set it to circle keyframes instead of diamond, then go into the value graph and make it a curve downward. So that's all that you have to do to make a rotation transition and you guys can do whatever you want with this. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be providing the composite shot down below in the description so you guys can download that and mess with it instead of just having to follow my directions. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you didn't, drop a dislike. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe if you are new because I'm at 98 subscribers. I'm super close to 100. Hopefully we can get to 100 before 2018 so um yeah just make sure that you guys subscribe comment down below for a tutorial that you want next time whether that's transitions color grading anything like that and then i will see you guys in the next video